you have an incredible lineup. I don't, I don't even think your name is talked about as much as it should be. I mean, you are one of the most incredible lineups of fighters I've ever seen. Well, thank you. It's like <laughs> unbelievable to me. And me and Rampage were talking about it. Like if you just go through it and I'm not even talking about the, 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 the kingdom and the stuff with the Jonas brothers, I'm not talking about your career and, and what you have outside of the ring. I'm just talking about in terms of the UFC fights. I mean, this lineup goes up with probably the best of the best of them. Well, you, you were singing with the Jonas brothers. <laughs> I got into, uh, <clears throat> I had a fight with Nick Jonas on the kingdom show <laughs> and I had to let him win, you know, for, you know, for his fans, but it, it was cool. Cause, uh, he hooked me up with, with a bunch of tickets. I took my sisters and my mom to a, a Nick Jonas concert. My, my youngest sister has down syndrome and she was the biggest Nick Jonas fan. So she's like, you're my favorite brother. <laughs> she says all the time. I'm like, what? She's like, you're my favorite brother. So oh, that's uh, worth it. Then. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. worth it. See, I told you that fight was fixed. He yeah. said, damn, that was a good battle. No, so no, no. He thought no, he thought it was real. No, 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 no. It looked real. I mean, you taught him how to fight, right? Well, man, it's crazy because I got asked to do the show. Um, well, first of all, um, they asked Greg Jackson to be like the guy that was there every day. And he's like, I can't be in LA every day. And he asked me to do it. And I was like, I got a fight with Jeremy Stevens coming up, and it was a big fight. And I'm like, I I can't go be on set every day. And he's like, Well, who's one of our guys? And I said, Joe Stevenson is perfect. Everybody lo loves him. He's he's really good with people. He's not, you know, he's not fighting anymore. So he went and he was on set every day, and him and Juan Archuleta, and they kind of trained everybody. And then in turn, they asked me to be the first fight. And so I showed up. Uh, they were like, hey, make a whole fight scene, three rounds. And and with this, his, uh, you know, not him, but the his stuntman. And then you're going to teach it to Nick Jonas and then you're going to, you're going to do it. So I met him, we kind of ran through it like kind of half-assed. And then I met him, met up two weeks later to film it and they put us in the cage and we shot for like five hours straight. And they're like, just do all three rounds. And I was like, man, it was, it was pretty tough. It was a lot of work, huh? Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of work. Just what they were asking. Cause I thought they were going to do like scene by scene. But they're like, no, do the whole round. And I'm like, man, do you know how hard that is to like stage a whole fight scene, Hell like yeah. a whole round a whole with someone that round? doesn't know yeah. how to fight? Like he was, he was athletic and he he did well, but a couple of times, like I did like a throw and he's supposed to get back up and he was trying to like rush into the next move. And I had to like bully him back down and be like, you know, like you're getting up too quick. <laughs> so, I mean, I imagine that's how WWE is, you know, you're, you're trying to, you got to work with somebody. So I think one time I accidentally spinning back, kicked him a little harder than I should have. And they were a little nervous. He didn't sue you? No, no, no. I got lucky. <laughs> was it the stunt double that you hit? No, it was, it was they, him. They didn't really use the stunt double at all. Oh, like they wow. had him there, but then they just decided not to really use him. So did, it was, did he look just like him? Not at all. <laughs> and then and then I was like nervous about it because the guy's like, Don't worry, I've been doing Krav Maga for 12 years. And I was like, mm, shit. <laughs> this ain't gonna work. No, no. <laughs> that Krav Maga doesn't work for MMA, huh? No, because what are you gonna kick somebody in the groin and poke their eyeballs those are both illegal it's like you just took away their whole arsenal yeah you know exactly 